So here we have the tube for the watering connected to the pump in the bucket, which I'll show you in just a moment. And here's my uh, fer à pyrogravure for fire writing. And it's uh, got a nice little point on it here. So I put it into the tube just to the point where it breaks through. And that way we can make some nice little holes for the watering to come out. There we go. Do a couple more. This is the switch for the prototype pump which feeds a 12 volt transformer which I've kept out of the water evidently the 12 volt line happily fitting into my 12 volt pump in the bucket of recuperating water following the tube all the way the top. Here we are at the top and the tube just nestling in here with holes that I showed you earlier. This way I can water from the top. watering system prototype. What we're looking for is the water coming down through each section so that everybody gets a little bit. Even down here. Yes, we're damped here. That's good. That's running down. Obviously have a little bit of a runoff. Catches into here, down to the middle down to these bottom plants down here. Excellent. Yes. Well, that's uh, several gallons a minute, that one. Very cute little pump. For 13 euros, in fact. That translates to about nine pounds. we are. We have little drips even down to the bottom. To show that every little bit is getting watered. Oh, there we are. And with the piping at the bottom, I showed you in the last one, we recuperate the water. There we go. So now that's proven to work satisfactorily. All that's left to do is to install it finally in its proper place and hook up the electrics to a little auto timer to run for a couple of minutes in the morning and the evening. So, until next time with the vertical garden.